snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? I have two guns, one for each of you. Hey crew, welcome back to the channel. Today's video was brought about by a comment that I received on a recent video that I published on the standard manufacturing S333 Thunderstruck revolver. Now, if you haven't seen that video, then I will go ahead and drop a link in the description below. So click on that, check it out if you want to. On that video, unknown user left a comment that read, I'm glad you reviewed this gun. I recently suggested it to a friend of mine who has a big issue with snakes on his property. I figured that this would be great for that considering two rounds of 22 WMR shot shells would give him a wider pattern and a better chance of killing a copperhead. After my experience with the Thunderstruck revolver, I do believe that it could be used effectively for snake control and so decided to do a little bit of testing on that particular idea. The first hurdle I faced was actually finding some 22 Magnum shot shells. They're not super plentiful, and yes, you can buy them online, but seven or eight bucks for a box of ammunition, and then another seven, eight bucks for shipping. Just didn't make any sense. Also, uh, for free shipping to qualify when you're ordering online, a lot of times you gotta spend 50 or 100 bucks. Now, granted, I make a ton of money doing this stuff on YouTube, right? I mean, doesn't everybody? And uh, so what it boils down to is I really didn't want to buy them online because, well, heck, I'm greedy. So I was trying to find some uh, a source, actually, for the 22 uh, WMR shot shells locally to cut down on some of that added expense for the test. As luck would have it, a few days after deciding to do this uh, test with a snake shot on the Thunderstruck revolver, walked into the local gun shop and guess what was sitting on the shelf? Two boxes of uh, 22 WMR shot shells by CCI. Figured it was a sign. I picked them up and proceeded to do some testing. Now the shot shells that I picked up contain 55 grains of number 12 shot in a capsule and fired a velocity of 1,000 feet a second. If you're not familiar with shot, number 12 is a great choice for pistol caliber shot shells. The small shot is less likely to ricochet, making it great for those close up encounters with those bad to the bone snakes. The next step to set up this test was to find uh, some type of medium that worked well to simulate an encounter with a snake. And what I decided to go with was some link sausage. Now, mind you, I needed to thaw the link sausage out. It was initially frozen. I did bring it down, uh, or rather up to, I guess, room temperature. And it's important to note too that this particular sausage does have the, the skin or the casing on it as well. After that, I headed outdoors and proceeded to do some testing. Now, I placed this sausage in an environment around some old fallen limbs and some cover and things like that to sort of simulate the natural environment uh, where you might run into a situation with a snake. Once I had that uh, sausage set up there, I took a few steps back, I would say probably eight to 10 feet and began the testing. Keep in mind here that the Thunderstruck revolver is a double-barreled revolver. So with each trigger pull, I was actually firing 110 grains of number 12 shot. As you can see here in this video clip, the accuracy of that number 12 shot pattern uh, was on target and appeared to create quite a bit of damage. Next, I loaded up eight more rounds and decided to give it another go but this time with a closer camera angle. And as you can see here, two rounds of that CCI 22 WMR shot shell certainly seems to be doing this job. Notice the large holes in the sausage? These are caused by the actual shot shell capsules themselves. Sort of a double whammy, making this type of ammo even more effective at close range. While in the previous video, I sort of come up short while looking for a practical use 
for the Thunderstruck S333. It seems apparent by this video and this testing that we may have actually found a legitimate purpose for this little revolver. But I'd like to hear your opinion. Do you think this little revolver can get it done against snakes? Jump down in the comments below and let me know what you think. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.